Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of YBM Cast with Matt and Brian. We uh, appreciate you being with us today. We're out at the Sports Barn in Wentzville uh, with uh, Prep Baseball Report doing a uh they got all the kids out there warming them up and we've got our list and we're gonna be watching some kids today yeah yeah watching some some showcases uh some hitting some running some pitching some defense uh got a good list of kids talk let's talk about a couple of these kids what do you think here matt what do you well we've got some 21s some uncommitted guys from the 21 class that'll be in here um which is great because you know we've got some college coaches here to check them out um, try to pick up a couple kids and then we've got uh, some 22s in here um, some actually some good 22s and 23s yeah there's a couple good 22s in here um, you've got uh, Austin uh, Almany Almany is that how you pronounce that I believe it's Almany yep. um, out of St. Pius you've got uh, a couple other ones uh, Daniel Fleeroff, he's at CBC. Um, I mean, just throwing out a couple names here. You get into sure. 23s, and uh, there's a couple other good 23s. Uh, Cole uh, Lemons, he was a catcher, right handed pitcher out of Cape Girardeau. So, yeah, there's, there's a wide variety here, but I think it's going to be a good day. You got uh, Bryson Naputi. Number one prospect PBR for outfield for 2023 sitting in here today, so we're going to see some of that. He's at CBC. I think a lot of yeah, there's a lot of high ranking underclassmen in yes. here. You know the 23s and then some 24s, and then you've got your some uncommitted uh, 21s. 21s. You know, that rough year with mm -hmm. the uh, COVID, so they're trying to get picked up by some of the college guys here or some other college guys that will see these videos when these go live. So. I am interested in seeing uh, some of these 2022s, especially there's a lot of right-handed pitchers in that uh, 2022 uh, range. Um, Jacob Brown from Westminster. You got uh, Jack Bryan from Francis Howell uh, at the top of that list. Uh, Evan Margarita, CBC. So you got some that I think that's going to be an interesting um, uh, scenario there looking at how they can put position themselves in this uh, in this one here man yeah yeah i mean you, you got kids from cape Girardeau coming in you got kids from illinois yeah. coming in um, obviously you've got st louis kids around town um so there's kids from all over coming in for for this event and you also have to remember i mean it's a this is a huge weekend for pbr because tomorrow you have the super 60 which is that's the right. top guys in the country uh showcasing what they can do in front of either top d1 schools power five schools but mainly uh pro guys yeah so you know there's a couple of st louis guys up there right now for that uh austin young's up there um i think you've got um uh daniels is up there yep. at viani um these are all 21s so there's a few others but the point is i mean pbr's got their local one right here and then they've got their you know nationwide super 60 up north tomorrow now just uh, just with austin young i noticed uh he was he was committed he was showing well, i don't know if it was a verbal or whatnot to simo but now he's showing wabash or not wabash yeah wabash wabash, yeah, wabash. College. yep so he is going to, he's right. just taking the G jc route yeah yeah he 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 decommitted from simo and he's going to wabash um Wabash is the number four Juco in the country preseason right now for the 21 season. They're, I mean, they're a powerhouse every year. So, I mean, he's going from one good baseball place to another, honestly. You know, I think it's an interesting uh, thought process. We were talking with uh, Eric Eisen, and we were discussing this on the show the other day about these seniors, juniors getting an extra year of eligibility. And I think it's a wise thought process to look at a situation to where you can take that junior college route. Well, you, well them, but you, I mean, think of, let's take a wall bash, for example. Uh -huh. I mean, they get a lot of guys that were originally committed to, say, a power five school and then decommit to go to wall bash right. for whatever reason. I mean, you're talking about kids going to Florida, Miami, South kids. <laughs> right. But you take all those kids that were 
sophomores or freshmen and now they're giving them another year and then you're adding this recruiting class on top of it i mean you're that, where are you not at just that juco but you're talking about i mean every legit junior college in the country is is loaded i mean they're loaded but some it's our D1s. I mean, every college. It's just, it's, you feel bad for the 2020s. Right, right. Because they're walking in it. But now, I mean, think of the 21s. Because the summer that they normally would have with all these guys out watching them play, they're not watching them play or they didn't watch them play because of the restrictions. It's, it's the A's. Which, I mean, then it goes more into why doing something like this PBR event is more important because now you've got video, you've got things that you can use to reach out to those coaches. It goes back to when we were discussing with Tim Canavan, Coach Canavan and Linwood. Yes. Back in the beginning when yeah. he said, you know, now we need video. Somebody needs to send something to me with restrictions that are held on us. And what better than to get a video from a third party through PBR? Right. And you've got these guys out here evaluating you, getting the spin rate. You're, you're, you're a pitcher. Well, you're a hitter. You're getting all the you're getting measurables. All of, you're getting it from somebody that's not a dad and you're not your coach. So there's right. there's nothing there to say, hey, I'm biased. I mean, these are... These are people that, from the naked eye, this is what I see. And there's a lot of good folks out here today uh, evaluating this this talent. I mean, so and we're going to be talking to a few of them here and there, um, and we're going to have uh, we're going to have some kids on the show this uh, throughout the throughout the the day, um, and be talking to them and where they're going if they're committed. Where what's the process? And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But. Uh, there's so much happening right now in baseball with all the stuff from COVID and this and that, that I do believe these types of events are just going to uh, be more in demand. Well, and, 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 and to backtrack on what I was saying, Victor Quinn from Liberty is the other one at Super 60. That That's I forgot correct. To mention. Yep. Um, the big thing about this event, I mean, there's a lot of kids and you're talking about, what are we, February sixth yeah so a lot of these kids i mean they're especially pitchers you've got to prepare for weeks to throw here and most people you gotta think you're not really starting to throw off a mound until now right maybe a week ago depending what program you're involved in so some of these kids had to adjust their program knowing that they were going to come here for this event and same goes for the super 60 tomorrow and there's kids that had to adjust their winter training their winter programs pitching programs to adjust for the event that they're attending. And that's not this this year. That's every year. And that's tough because then, you know, it, you're, like you said, and then you're outside of uh, high school baseball for now for, what, another four weeks? Yeah, March 1st. Right. Well, high school baseball has their uh, voluntary training workouts. They, that's right. what started. But, yeah. but the actual tryouts don't start until March 1st. Yeah. So, so we're going to be uh, – we're going to be back here in a, a couple minutes. We'll get we'll be getting some interviews. We'll be talking some more baseball. We'll be talking some players. So uh, you know we'll be uh, continuing to keep this show going here. So we'll be right back. Hey everybody, we're here with Tyler Macon, uh, Kirkwood High School, twenty twenty three grad. So, which brings you out here today? Uh, just looking to pop some numbers and. Uh... Just get the attention of scouts. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, we've got uh, Xander Schmidt here with us. He is a 2024 grad, uh, Lafayette High School. Yep. So, what brings you out here today, young man? Um, just to get some numbers, try to get seen by some college coaches, and see what I can do. Very good. Very good. Hey guys, we've got uh, Jake McGee here with us. Uh, you play for the St. Louis Force in the summertime, right? Yes. And where do you go to school? CBC. CBC. You want to throw that up there a little bit? Class of 24, right? Yes, sir. So, uh, Class of 24. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're old. Yeah. We're old guys. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we're here with uh, Tyler Whitworth, Hazelwood West High School. Uh, thanks for coming on, man. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me. Got uh, some... Uh, Big stuff going on out here. How many how many PBR events have you done so far? Uh, I think this is my third. Third? Third. Third? Yeah. And the most important one, because oh, he's going to get a new profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so we got through the popping of the gloves over here. We're getting warmed up, right? We got PJ Rogan, Lafayette, 2023 grad. PJ, welcome to the program, man. Yep, yep. good to be here. 
So, so I, I, I brought, I brought him on, not really because he's a good ball player. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. But I wanted to give a shout out to his uncle, to his family, Sean Rogan, your yep. dad's yep. Pat, Pat, Pat Rogan. Yeah. Uh, some family ties there with my yep. nephew, my brother-in-law. So, uh, we're here with, uh, Cole Lemons, uh, from Cape Girardeau goes to Notre Dame high school there. You are a 2023 grad. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So Tyler's a 2023 middle infielder. Um, Kirkwood High School plays with the gamers in the summer. Uh, you obviously last summer had a rough summer with uh, COVID along with everybody else. So unfortunately, some of the guys, the 22s, 21s, um, 23 is probably not affected nearly as much yet, but uh, what's your schedule look like for this summer? Any, go anywhere big? Um, we go down to Atlanta every year, and then we go to Nashville before that, and those are probably the two biggest. So you're going to the WWBA? Yeah. You're going to the 16U WWBA? Yes, sir. Nice. That's a good one. So what positions do you play, Xander? Uh, catcher and outfield. Catcher and outfield. You're a 2024 mm -hmm. Lafayette High School. Uh this summer where you go uh, where you going play for the prospects I'm uh, assuming still so right prospects okay yeah. all right what's the schedule look like um we go to indiana omaha i think we go to georgia once kansas city all over the place so you'll be all over yes good good jake what positions do you play uh, i'm a left-handed pitcher and i play the outfield play the outfield left-handed pitcher outfield cbc they're gonna be good this year yeah we're gonna be super young how's the class how's the good. 24 class 24 and 23 pretty stacked this yeah. year yeah, they're always good. They always got a lot of talent. <laughs> um, so this winter, what's the training like? What have you been doing? Uh, about lift six times a week, hit four, throw three every day. Wow. So getting at it. Yeah. That's good, man. It's good. You're up in Missouri, so you yeah, got to be no. inside it's while it's cold in, outside. Indoors. Yeah, but there's plenty of places now. Yeah. Exactly. Tyler, class of 2023, what positions do you play? Uh, I'm a corner, corner infielder, and I pitch a little bit. Gotcha. And who you play for in the summer? I do Adidas Athletics. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, what's the winter look like for you right now, training-wise? A little bit of everything, four days a week, just keeping it on. Yeah, weight yeah. training. Oh, yeah, weight training, pitching, pitching program, field, hitting, all of the above. <laughs> Good. What brings you out here today, man? Uh, just uh, trying to improve my numbers and uh, hoping to get noticed at some point and just getting better. Yeah? Yep. I hear you're ambidextrous. You yeah. throw both hands. Yep, yep. I've been doing it for as long as I can remember. I've been playing, throwing both for as, as long. Okay, as so let's hold on. Let's talk about this for a second. <laughs> yeah. So throwing both arms is this something your dad pushed, or did you just do it and just randomly it just happened? Honestly, I was I was originally lefty, but um, I was one day I was just playing catch. I was real young and with my dad, and I just picked up a tennis ball and just I instinctively threw it with my right arm. My dad, my dad immediately was like, "We got something here," and I just <laughs> kept going with it. Thanks for joining us, man. We just watched you throw the ball over there off the mound. Looked pretty good. Looked pretty good. How'd it feel? It felt all right. I've had better days, though. <laughs> had better days. Well, it looked all right to me. So, okay, better days is good. What were you What were you pumping over there? Did uh, they tell you? I think I hit 85 once. 85 once? Every okay. times. I'm not sure. All so right. are you done for the day? Um, I have to go catch. So you have to catch. It. So you uh, so you catch, you pitch. What else do you so, do? Uh, over the summer, I played some outfield. Really, anyway. Anywhere? Infield. Yeah, it's all, uh, you popped the 195 behind the plate. That's awesome. Congrats on that. Thank you. What do you like to do the best? Um, catcher by heart. Catcher? Catcher. Yes, cool. How'd you hit? I hit all right. I, I hit harder a few weeks ago, but. I'd... So you're kind of iffy on yourself right now for the day, huh? I thought you did well. 195 pop time's fantastic. I, I'm happy with my catching, but. <laughs> well, good. You got any, uh. Places in mind you want to go college wise or uh, probably somewhere, talking to you? Yeah, probably somewhere in the Midwest. I've talked to Arkansas before. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking somewhere in the Midwest, like Missouri and gotcha. Arkansas. Good place like that. You got uh, high aspirations to play college baseball? Yes. I'm assuming since you're here, you do, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, good. What do you want to, what are you thinking school wise? I mean, you got a lot, a lot of time, but you wanting to go south, you wanting to go north, Midwest? Um, I like Oklahoma State a lot and Oregon State. Those two, probably yeah. number two choices. You gonna schedule some camps for them? 
Uh, hopefully. Get out there and watch or yeah. uh, participate in, in, in some of their camps. Yeah. So what are you guys doing this winter? Is a lot of training this a lot winter? Of training. I'm doing a hit in training. I'm working on um, just getting getting better every day and just continuing to strive for every, so as far as I can go to play the baseball I want to. So. Well, good. Yeah. Good. What's uh, good. what's the schedule like? Where are you going uh, for the summer? For the summer, we'll be in Georgia, Atlanta, and Kansas City. I know those for sure. And I'm probably, I'm probably assuming there's others, like maybe uh, Wisconsin or something type. type gotcha. Deal. Yep. Atlanta's a popular place to go. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this summer, what's it look like for you this summer? Where are you going, your team? Uh, pretty busy. Uh, we got Florida, I think, two or three times. Atlanta, twice. And then I think uh, Mississippi once. Nice. Because I'm playing with um, Team Elite, too, out of Atlanta. Gotcha. So you're going to play force mm -hmm. locally mm -hmm. and, and then Team, team Elite team, when team you travel? Out, out of town. So, nice. Yeah. Very good. 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 There's a lot of people that do that now. It's a popular mm -hmm. thing to yeah. do. Um, what do you think you get out of that? Oh, I think the college experience, college, college exposure is really nice. Yeah. I, I also, the main thing why I like it is because uh, I get to meet a bunch of new friends from all over the place. Like I have some best friends from New Jersey, Florida. So it's fun. Yeah. Those, those national teams pull kids from all over the country. Cause you got to think those kids just like you, you want to play in those events, but you also want to play with dudes that have the same aspirations as you. And I'm not saying that locally they don't have that, but mm -hmm. if you right. get a kid from Washington who's like, I'm going to Atlanta three times this summer and yeah. he'll play with you <laughs> and you'll be like, dude, yeah. you know what I mean? And we play, you play, you spend, you probably room with them or you yeah. spend, you know, three weeks with somebody nonstop doing nothing but baseball yeah. you become good friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's awesome. That's cool. And what's the summer look like schedule wise? You got your schedule yet for the summer? Not sure. Not sure where you're heading? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I so, think we got about six or seven out of time, so big well, good. coming up. Yeah. Well, good. So for you at the next level, at the collegiate level, where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself a two-way guy or do you see yourself a PO? I definitely see myself as a first base, third base only. Just a just a hitter. Hitter? Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. You like that better than pitching? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's 6'4", <laughs> right? Six, well, four. you get on the mound. What are you, 185, 190? Oh, yeah. He's pushing 200, 6'4", 200 pounds. You got to see if you can throw up a mound before right. you say no. Chicks dig the long oh, ball, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> it's more fun to play every day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so do yeah. you do you throw left-handed when a lefty comes up and right-handed when a righty comes um, up? I, this summer, this past summer, I was I was pretty much just throwing a game left or a game right, but I was working on it this fall going by batter and like <laughs> inning or so. I was switching off with... Yeah, that's uh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I love it. I love it. I'm, I've always wanted to watch a, a game yeah. with a player doing that, yeah. but I've never, I've never done it. Yeah. Good, good. So... so uh, you live down in Cape. What uh, what's the summer look like for you? Uh, so I play for a team in Mississippi, and uh, what's the name? East Coast Sox. Gotcha. East Coast okay. Sox. Yep. We yep. pretty much play from here south. So I'm in Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, all summer. Nice, wow. nice. Well, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. Right. Stay south. Stay south. Well, we've. Uh, We've seen a lot of stuff so far here. We got uh, we're in the middle of they're still doing some of the hitting. Yeah, wrapping up the hitting right now. And uh, we've got a lot of kids just kind of milling around right now. <laughs> well, it's the thing is, you get done running, you get done hitting, and then you're kind of in that dead period until we get to the fielding portion of it. But actually, um, so far, I would give a huge shout out to PBR right now because this thing is moving. Yeah. I mean, for amount of kids are in here, this thing's moving. They got, I mean, they're utilizing the space that's given to them. They got a couple hitting sessions going on right now, giving the kids time to warm up before they go hit. So, shout out to them. I mean, it's this isn't one of those typical. You're on a field. There's 500 kids, and you sit there for five hours. And you got kids sleeping around. I mean, this is legit moving. So now they're going to start defense. They're all getting ready to play some catch, get some defense going while they're waiting to hit or finish up these hitters. But uh, yeah, I think it's been. I think it's gone well. Yeah, it's cool watching the kids too, getting a, a good feel. We've seen a lot of, uh, seen a lot of pop off the bat. Seen some good swings. Um, 
guys that uh, we've had some great conversations, uh, got some more. Um, I'm looking forward to the fielding and, and kind of see how that works. Because yeah. I always think, I always think, especially when you're talking about um, this type of scenario here, uh, you're looking at these kids hitting, hitting in, in in the cages. You can get more done. I think it's much more difficult in this area to get that fielding practice, to get that good feel, to really work on that. So I think that's always a challenge uh, for the Midwest, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, yeah, um, but. I mean, there's two places for an athlete in regards to baseball that you can make a difference. One of them is with the bat, and the other one is on the mound. Those are the two places that if you can swing it or you can throw it, we'll find somewhere for you to go. Right. The fielding is more or less, let's see how you move. Let's see Your how you move. Work. Yeah, see how you move. Let's see, the, let's, let's see, are you athletic? Can you move? Okay, this kid just hit 98 off the tee with exit velo, <laughs> but can you move? I mean, I mean, literally, are right. you going to be? Are you next level? Hey, next level guy with the bat, but not with the glove. I mean, honestly, that's that's the thing right there. So we'll see. Yeah. But honestly, this is this has been great. There's a lot of really good talent at the, with the 23 class and the 24 class here. Um, some good 22s, and then some some you know good uncommitted 21s. But I think the I think overall the and my initial thought of what we've got here is some some really good 24s and 23s. Right. That's my that's that, yeah. That's my initial thought here. Some good 24s, 23s. So. And we haven't seen a lot of the 22s or 21s yet. Uh, I think that's in the second session here. But you're right. I agree, man. There's some really good kids. and uh, Yeah, we've interviewed some of them, so it's going to yeah. be good. I think it's going to be great. we got got a couple more scheduled. So I'm excited to keep it going. Let's do it. We'll be back. So I'm going to be the buzzkill here, dude. I'm going to talk student-athlete stuff. What, what, what kind of academics are you looking at? What are you thinking about? Like school? Yeah. The buzz well, kill. Dude, I mean, buzz kill. He doesn't want to talk about academics. He wants to talk about baseball. <laughs> I don't know. I just try to keep good grades so I can get into whatever school. Student athlete stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's good. Good answer. <laughs> yeah. Good answer. Keep good grades. You gotta have there good grades go. though, right? Yeah. He's got an older brother at DePaul, so he knows how it works. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right, that's, DePaul? Yep. DePaul. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. So, you know, his family's gone through it once already. He's seen his older brother. He knows he's gotta have good grades. <laughs> Paul's good school. It is a good school. I, I get to be the guy. I always ask. I ask about the academics. I'm an ac I'm an ac a student athlete, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, what are you looking at that way? As far as you got aspirations, as far as schooling and things like that. Um. Yeah. Academics, big thing. I my grades are pretty good right now, and just Very good. trying to keep going with them. <laughs> keep See, those grades up. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Keep those up. Absolutely. It's always good to have. I, mom's usually the one that. Mm -hmm. yep. You're right. Yes. <laughs> always on me about it. Doesn't matter how good you are. <laughs> yeah. You can't read a book. They're not going to get you in the school. So. <laughs> True. So. Well, good. You got no. You want to. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, CBC Go Go academics, right? Academics, right? academics is where it's at, right? Push for sports, though. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's too good, right there. <laughs> There's no beating around the bush on that one. That's so. right. Hey, you know what, though? Academics, do you, do you have aspirations, anything in mind that you think about after baseball, you know, career-wise? Uh, uh, no, no we're, we're pushing towards baseball. Okay, all right. That's he hasn't gotten good. that far yet. Yeah. That's all right. He's got I, plenty I, of I didn't time. either. So, got plenty of time. <laughs> so you got uh, your summer and whatnot. Everything's rolling along here. I got I, I, I throw this out here, student-athlete stuff. How are the grades looking? You looking good? Yeah. Good, All good. Is. Got 3.8 GPA, I think, the, both years. Yep. That's my man. There you go, bro. So school-wise, then, what do you what do you want to do? You want to stay Midwest? You want to go South? And then to a question on top of a question, uh, what do you see yourself for uh, academically? Do you have any idea what you want to do academically? Uh, first question, not sure exactly where I would like. I, For sure, probably somewhere south, just for the hot weather, you know, maybe a beach or so. <laughs> but uh, academically, uh, in college, I think I'm probably going to go, like, the athletic training route. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, nice. Do, like, just kind of, like, with work with baseball kids when I get older. Just kind of give back, you know? So are you looking to go to school 
for that and for baseball? Or are you going to say, I'm going to look for baseball and I'll work on the other stuff second? You get good grades, so obviously academics are yeah, very important I, to you. I think I'd probably consider like the athletics, but really just if, if the baseball offer is high enough, just I'd stick with that. Very good. So I got to I got to do this. Yep. It's my it's my thing, man. Yep. Student athletes, right? Yeah. How are the grades, bro? Uh, my grades are pretty good. Uh, I think I had a 4.0 freshman year and then this past semester I had a 4.0 also. And I'm just trying to stay, stay in school, continuing to study and get better at baseball. I'm also a football and basketball player, too. So. Oh, wow. Getting three sports so that'll keep you busy yeah, yeah. and out of trouble yeah right. <laughs> so three sport yeah, athlete man. and you had a 4.0 yeah good for you man congratulations that's, that's, that's awesome. awesome thank you that is awesome talk to me i got i got uh, the student athlete question or how's the grades there bro uh they've been they've been good right now good keeping up with <laughs> they've been good right now yeah. hey you know what that's good mom's keeping you in line right <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> mostly dad though he's, he's mostly on, dad yeah Good. Hey, boy, somebody's got to, right? Right. So, yeah. That's right. You got to have grades. What do you... Uh... So, next level. You thinking shortstop? Yeah, somewhere in the middle infield, probably. Wherever. It doesn't matter, right? No. As long as you're Whatever. playing? Yep. As long as you're playing. <laughs> That's the kicker. As long as you're playing. Well, good, man. What's the off-season program looking like for you? Uh, just work out every day. Um, we have practice two days a week. So, pretty much it. Good, man. Yep. You excited? Ready yep. to get after it? Yep. Ready for high school ball to start? How's the high school team looking? Uh, we should be pretty good this year. We haven't started yet since COVID. Right. Everything. So we just have tryouts on March 1st. Right. And we're well, good. Here. Lafayette, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty stacked this year, yeah. varsity-wise, right? So where do you see yourself? Junior, JV, freshman? Um, It really just depends on tryouts and stuff. I don't really know. Hopefully JV or varsity, but if it doesn't work out, freshman yeah very good very good because they are pretty good this year yeah. aren't they mm -hmm. yeah i think so i think they're we were talking with uh coach perkins and he looked at them in top 10 yeah yeah easily yeah, they're all, so. i mean they have a lot of talent they'll be good yeah that's cool well good what do you want to do for school college wise uh you got a lot of time so no pressure on this but you want to stay Midwest, you want to go south? No, what are you thinking? I'm trying to go somewhere warm. <laughs> Far away. Far oh, away. That is the Atta consensus. Not a boy. Smart man. Smart that's, man. I think that's why Missouri State and Mizzou have so much trouble. I mean, everybody is so tired of the cold by the time they get through high yeah, school. Yeah, but they get a lot of kids from up, up north. Yeah, they do. They, they do? They, they recruit Michigan. a lot of the kids up north, yeah. The okay. Minnesota's, the Michigan's, the Wisconsin's. Because it's further south for them. Yeah. They're still trying Probably to go one. south. Yeah. And yeah. they go south <laughs> the first month. They're down south a lot. But uh, So you're talking uh, academics-wise. You got an idea of what you want to look for in college when you go to school, what you're studying? I don't. Okay. Personally, I, I'm i more of a hands-on guy. Yeah. So if I didn't, I would go to like a, a trade school, but still trying to figure out what I want to do if I go to college. Very good. Very good. So, Good. Nice. Well, good. Like coaching? Looking, thinking of coaching? Yeah, I, I, I could be like a, a coach. And then on top of that, just like training, like workout guys, like stuff like that. Very good. Do you have any them. younger siblings? Yeah, I have like one younger and one older, actually. So did you do you help the younger one? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Coaching wise? Uh, like hitting wise. Yeah. yeah. Just mechanical stuff like that. Well, good. Yep. Very good. Awesome. Hey, man, how does Hazelwood look stacking up this year? You guys, uh, yeah, we'll no? We'll be solid. We'll be solid. For yeah? Sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll do nice in districts, see see how everything after that ends up, but we should be pretty good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sleeper. Sleeper? He's, he's is that what out. it is? <laughs> he didn't say it, but that's what he's saying. There's sleeper. You're at Lafayette 2023. Yes, sir. So you'll either be on the JV team or the varsity team. Yep. We have to get his schedule. Sure. Yes. Because I want, and we have to find out when it. he's throwing. Because yeah. I yeah. want to watch this. I want to watch this last sure. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. What's uh, what's your summer got? Evidently, you're playing with the prospects. Yep. Well, with uh, Todd. Todd Willie is the coach. I'm on Todd's team. So. Okay. Baseball. Yeah. So what do you do in the winter? Uh, baseball. You just train and yes, down, down at home, down in Cape. Yes, sir. Well, how's the high school team going to look this year? Oh, uh, we're going to be young, but we should be pretty good. So young, you're 23. I'm assuming you're going to be on varsity. Yes, sir. Some other 23s on varsity. Uh, I don't 
think so. Maybe one or two. So you'd be a lot of 22s, you think? Uh, yes, sir. Gotcha. Hi, Junior. So it's still pretty young. So you still got a couple of years. You guys got a pretty good window there yeah. if it comes together, right? What class you guys in down there? Uh... 4A. 4? Okay. Well, we'll find out if they're going to stay in yeah. 4A, too. Yeah, that could change. Yeah. Reclassify. So they'll be around there, 4A, 5A. Could you, yeah, it could move up to 5. I don't know how big their school is. Yeah, we've right. changed a few times. Have you? Yeah. Very good. Yeah, so they'll be on the bubble. So It is. Well, good, man. Good. What uh, what do you got left to do here today? Uh, Defense, fielding. Defense, that's it? That's in it. your outing? Yeah. Well, good. Good. Yep. Appreciate it. Yeah, Tyler, thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Hey, best of luck to you. We're going to be following you a little bit uh, as you go along and hope you do well. Cool. So good luck to you, young man. Thank you. All right. Thanks, boss. Thank you. Hey, Jake, thank you very much for your time. Good luck to you, young man. Hey, man, keep working hard. Absolutely. Good job. (laughs) Tyler, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Tyler. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Good Keep luck working to you. hard. Okay. EJ, thanks, man. Yeah, Tell your uncle course. I said hello. I okay. I All right. We'll we'll try and get back to the fantasy football and All stuff. Right. right? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you, young man. Thank you. Thank we'll you, catch sir. you. Hey, we'll we'll definitely keep be. Keep it up. Keep it we're up. We're definitely gonna come out and watch. We gotta I, see uh, this. Uh, yeah, I wanna watch this. Please yep. do, man. Please right. do. Take care. You guys. Thanks. Thank you. Cole, thank you very much, yes, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah, they're going to need you to go catch those bullpens. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, thank thank so, you so much. Thank you. Good luck with everything. Keep working. Guys, we're uh, wrapping up here today at the uh, PBR event. They're still going. They're, there's going to be a lot of stuff. Uh, the guys are still pitching over here. But uh, we've talked to a lot of 2023s today that we really wanted to to, to talk to. Just good talent in that level, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, I guess first would like to thank all of the players that came over and took a minute just to answer some questions, uh, give us an opportunity to get to know them. Talent-wise, there's a lot of good players in the area, in the state of Missouri specifically, uh, with the 2023 class. So I'm excited to watch them play high school ball. Um, That and I guess... We'll see, uh, you know, follow them through the summer, see how they do and where they go and what happens and, you know, see where they end up going to school commitment wise. But yeah, there's some good catchers, there's some good arms here, some guys swung it well, uh, some good footwork defensively. You know, the future looks bright for the state, doesn't it? It does. It really does. Yeah. I think there's going to be some really good high school baseball. It's going to be some really good summer baseball. I think uh, if you really, you know, if you're a student, get out, watch some baseball, man. It's well, that, but there's the, another thing that I noticed is how excited these kids are yeah. to have a high school baseball season. <laughs> Right, because they had they did not have a high school baseball season, so I agree uh, last year. So I think all of them, uh, from what we have heard and the conversations that we've had throughout the day, they are all very very excited to get at it, which is fun. It's going to make it fun. Exactly, exactly. Want to thank uh, Kevin Mulder. Yeah, thank you, Kevin. Kevin Mulder. Uh, big shout out to uh, you know Craddock with the Gators Sports Barn here appreciate you guys uh, allowing us in here giving us some space yeah. to flap our gums yeah. and stick cameras in people's faces <laughs> yeah and thank you pbr you guys did yeah. it. They, they, pbr they man did an excellent job keeping this thing moving today so it's really a lot of fun so you know what hey guys uh, appreciate you joining with us today hope you enjoyed the interviews we'll be we'll be showing some full stuff and we're gonna ha- hopefully get back out here to another one of these so till next time right you yes, pitchers sir. Keep throwing strikes, you hitters. Hit them where they ain't. Absolutely. Everybody have a great day in the Lord, and we will see you next time.